Guys, first of all, what's up? How's your day going? I hope you're doing well. I'm not. That was like the least genuine. I hope you're doing well, because I'm, I'm not at all. I'm just being <laughs> honest, okay? I'm scared right now. My heart's beating really fast. Everybody in my comment section has been wanting me to do a part two of this video, and I've honestly been putting it off till now. <laughs> On a serious note, have you seen comments ever since the first one? Oh, that were lightweights? We're lightweights. Wow, you are? They said you were too. Just because I get drunk off of two white claws doesn't make me white, lightweight, guys. Luckily, we're not doing white claws today. Let's just get into it. You know the drill. If we don't answer a question, we have to drink. It's as simple as that. Let's go. Ooh. We're doing truth or drink? Yeah. Oh, God. What were your first impressions of each other when you met? That's a good question. That is a good question. I mean, I remember seeing you. We were both in band in middle school, but we never talked. And I was always like, damn, that kid has a cool, like, Macaulay Culkin haircut. Because your hair was, like, very cowlick to the side. First impression of you. I think I've said this before, but two first things I remember about you okay. in my life. Let's see. Here. One, you and a guy named Caleb would always run around in, like, the halls. And you were the only two that always, like, carried a Bible. And I was like, oh, damn. Okay, cool. I didn't know people <laughs> did that at school. But, yeah, that was your thing. And that we, was cool. We carried a Bible to uh, every class. <clears throat> and then, two, I remember, like, vividly that you would take your clarinet and bounce it on your knees. So you'd be jacking off your clarinet in band class. And I was like, all right, well, this guy's interesting. Yeah, well, I'm just gonna keep my distance <laughs> so from those him. Those are like and two then, very opposite things that you, you would like, you'd see. You'd read your Bible and then jack off your clarinet. Jack my clarinet off. The teacher would turn around right on the whiteboard and I'd be like, that's funny. It's you, funny. You know, he had two different sides of his personality. That was an easy first question. Easy. There we go, I'm feeling easy. good. This could be whoa, whoa, easy. Whoa, whoa. Don't say that, because then we're gonna get a hard one. Knock on wood. What has been your most embarrassing moment in public? Whoa. Oh my God. Can we establish some rules? Are we both answering each one of these or is it back and forth? Oh, true. Yeah, we did just ask specific people. So, so should we, we flip like a that? coin on this one? <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors me, man. Fuck, you, know, you fucking knew I was gonna do that. I'm so I'm reading knew. my mind, God damn it. Well, we were at the Teen Choice Awards and it was before we... <laughs> This is definitely the most embarrassed I've ever been. Cause it was, Actually? I think so. Oh my god, yeah, dude, It was this? live streamed to thousands of people. Way. It wasn't the fact that we didn't know we won the award. That's funny, I don't care. It was because I said, I said something stupid like, I can't even remember exactly what I said. What like continent you want to go see? And I was like, I love like Mexico. <laughs> So I was like, it was just embarrassing. I think it was because it was our first time on any live stream TV and I had to just mess up. Forgive him guys, forgive, forgive me. Sam, what's the biggest deal breaker for you in a relationship? Whoa! Oh, that's Jack. a good question. Yeah, get some pen and paper out right now. Yep. Mm, dude, I don't know. What if they're a hardcore star sign girl? So you're not a Capricorn? So oh, so well, that is definitely a <laughs> yeah. deal breaker. Like, sure, cool, you can be into whatever you want to be into, that's fine. But like, I personally cannot deal with <laughs> astrology. Like, cool, whatever, you know, everyone has their thing that they believe in, but like, I just think it's a load of BS. What are you again? Like, you're- I'm a saggy titties. See, a so saggy like, titties would say that, guys, right? That's what I'm everyone kidding. would say, god dang, but yeah. What girl do you stalk the most on social media? Oh! Specifically, oh. which one? Oh, I know the answer gosh. to this. Nah, I probably shouldn't say that. Probably not. <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that. Let's Ooh, just... First shot of clock, brother. Holy nipple butter. All I'm gonna say is that you guys know who this person is. <laughs> Sam, is Colby friends with someone that you don't particularly like? Oh! oh. Be careful about this one, man. Yes. Oh, I, I name a human being? Yeah, yes, that you don't like. Ooh, I feel like there's there's people that like I have not gotten as close to as you, but like not anyone that I'm like, yeah, cool, if you hang out with that person ever again, I hate your life. Is yeah. it because I only have like three other friends? You are really <laughs> outing yourself on this. All right, well, I don't want to out a specific person, so. Hey, let's get it, let's get it, woo! Check this guy's out. Look Fuck. at this, I got this in freaking Alaska, but Whoa! Holy shit. shit! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Bottoms up. Here we go. Mmm. Jeez. Whoa. 
<laughs> that was definitely a double shot. Yeah. Oh my god. Colby, if you woke up in the body of the opposite gender, what would be the first thing you would do? <laughs> Dude. I'd freaking just look at myself. <laughs> if you woke up as a as a female, you'd just be like, yo, what the f You wouldn't just go like make friends and stuff. <laughs> you wake up and you're like, oh hey, hey, what's up? How you doing? What's up? Hey. It's an obvious one. It's you check yourself point. out, you have some new things that you're not used to. So you know, you're just you just squeeze them a little bit. What? <laughs> experiment with things. Oh. <laughs> right? Nice. Sam, if you met Colby now, do you think you would still be best friends? Oh, this could hurt my feelings. <laughs> this could really hurt my feelings. Like we're at this age and we just randomly met and we're still doing the same jobs and stuff? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I feel like we're interested in the exact same thing. We're on the yeah, same yeah. career path and all that stuff. Let's go, man. We also became friends because we were forced into the same activity. Have you ever thought about that? True. Our parents forced us into band. Like if we didn't do band, we probably wouldn't be friends. Probably not. And that's like the crazy thing about life. Destiny is a real thing. Yeah, so basically do band camp. Colby, if you could go on a date with any celebrity. What the fuck? He's, yeah! Yo! Ah! Celeb, call him out right now with an at handle. Dude, last time this happened was around Halloween, like three years ago. We were carving pumpkins and I shouted somebody out. All the fans went to her Instagram, but that was really awkward because I saw her the next month at a party and she was just like, yo, that was weird. Be Oprah boy. Winfrey. Just kidding. Is she not like 60 and married? Gwen or Stefani. Isn't she married too? Fuck! You can't be a homewrecker, bro. Married or not? Married, married or, or not? not? Okay. Gwen Stefani. Gwen he Stefani. Is with I Gwen. have been in love with her since I was five. Do you think that love has faded over time? Or mm, it's definitely faded a little bit. <laughs> but at the same time, Gwen, I'm here. Hit the DMs. I'm 25. Bro. I'm 24. Sam, who is the worst kisser you've ever kissed? <laughs> Specifically, name of her and when you did it. Oh, dude. Oh, bro. What's her name out of right now? That's the thing, is I don't remember her name in the slightest. You maybe you'll remember. I was with her too. <laughs> no, you're with someone else. But same night, five, six, whatever years ago. But literally, it was like, like when we were walking out of a really bad party, we were like, bro, we have nothing to do at all. Let's just go talk to the first people that we want to like, say hi. I remember hi. exactly. And, and funny. then we're like, all right, cool. We talked to these two people and we're like, let's go like hang out. And it like ended up going going really wrong and she was a horrible, horrible, horrible kisser. Wasn't the, in the back of an Uber too? It was. I ran over to Colby after and I was like, bro, when do you <laughs> want to leave, man? I gotta get out of here. This is scary. I remember exactly who you're talking about and yeah, we don't know their names. Yeah, I There's know. no way. We saw them for like two hours. Yeah. That sounds really bad. We're not bad people like that. This was yeah. when we were 18. They were nice. Just yeah. bad. Bad kissers. Yeah. Colby, what is the most illegal thing you've ever done, not including trespassing? Oh, that's easy. What? Not including trespassing. There's definitely a top. Really? I mean, oh. Oh. We've outed ourselves before many a time. All right. When we were 14. Yeah. Should I say that story? I think that's like definitely like worse. Okay, 14, we were- Past the stature of limitations, you can't come after us cops, what's up? Yeah, we were literally 10 years ago, a decade <clears throat> ago. We were with Nate, Alex, you guys both know them as well, and our friend Mason. And at the time, obviously we couldn't drive at all, so we Grand Theft Autoed Mason's car to Walmart, stole a bunch of alcohol. <laughs> this is so bad, wait, did we, we Did we steal alcohol? I think so. Well, we didn't drink it, or at least I didn't. It was just Nate. Oh man, I'm re I don't know if we should say this then. Did, what, did you drink yeah. the alcohol? I didn't drink that. Yeah, alcohol. not while we were driving, but we, we drove, like we had a designated driver, I don't think Mason drank, and we went to, uh, and we, the we stole of the fireworks forest. too. And then we just like started putting fireworks in people's mailboxes and they exploded everywhere. That's really bad, guys, I'm, this is a change to me. This is 14 years old. Yeah, 14, we're dumb, stupid, stupid did some crazy don't stuff. Don't recommend it. Sam, have you ever posted something on social media that you immediately regretted? Oh yes. yeah! Yes. A million things. What, specifically which one? Wait, that wasn't the question. She just said, yeah, have you ever posted anything you immediately regretted? And I did, yes. Colby, who is the most famous person you've DM'd to hook up? Oh, let's see them receipts, bro. Oh, he's gonna freaking drink it. Full ass shot. So comment down below, lightweight, one more time. All right? One more time. Look at that, full ass shot. I don't see you guys doing that at home. Watch, zero reaction. Ready? Straight face it, real quick. Ready. 
Wait for it. I got the poker face of Lady Gaga. Because usually his lip quiver is like hardcore. Sam, is there someone you pretend to like but actually don't? And who? And who? Please say who. who. Yeah. No! Yeah. Yes. So I can't say. Hey, it's shot time. I don't intentionally go out of my way to see people that I don't like, but I choose not to be mean. That was two full swallows of Jack Daniels. We were taking double shots. Colby, have you ever received a nude? If so, who is it from? Me? If so, who? What? what? <laughs> Hell yeah. I <laughs> did my DMs. Whoa. Your DMs? Sometimes. Don't say that. You're going to get a million more. That's scary. Dude, it's not like I respond to every single one. Every but single some. one, but some <laughs> of them? <laughs> Yo! I'm playing, 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 I'm just kidding. So if I, it has to be like, I have to say like, yes, and then I've got it from Cause like, even person. though I didn't know the person's name, I described the event to the point where you were like, oh yeah, that person. You can't just be like, ah, somebody. Then somebody I cannot out any females out there. That's not very nice. Listen, I'm a nice guy. You keep that part of your life private. You there know you go, no, don't kiss and tell. Oh man. Sam, what do you think is Colby's greatest asset physically? Oh, <laughs> this question. Whoa, this is gonna get oh. real personal. Favorite? Your favorite? My favorite physical. or the one that your ear is your greatest? What's your personal favorite despite what anybody else thinks? Personally, I think they're two different things, but my favorite is I think that for some reason you have a contagious smile. Thanks, man. Like, <laughs> for ever that. since like you were like in high school, I feel like you were surrounded by happy people and you were just like, what's well, fucking good, dude? <laughs> and people were just happy around you. So I think that's- <laughs> Thank you, man. That's, that's, that's very nice. Colby, how many people have you hooked up with in total? Get the fucking number no, out No, no fucking way. It's definitely less than five. All right, cheers. What the? <laughs> man, what is that dance move? Chicken wing. Damn chicken. <laughs> Guys, TikTok everybody dance. send me TikToks if you're doing the chicken, chicken wing. wing. Damn chicken. Chicken wing dab. Sam, out of you and Colby, who do you think has the more successful YouTube channel? Wow. Dude. <laughs> fucking me. <laughs> no, no. Um, I don't know. I would genuinely say on YouTube is our most even platform. Like out of all the other platforms, definitely like Colby, but I think we're much more even on YouTube than we are like elsewhere. But obviously <laughs> that's not an answer, so I gotta take a shot. Yes! Thank God. I brought these glasses. Cause one more shot and I'm going dark. <laughs> You're going dark. All right guys, here's the deal. We're gonna ask three more questions directed to both of us. Any of us two decide to skip and we have to take a shot. Who has changed more since moving to LA. Whoa! <laughs> Colby. First of all, I've been. LA changed you? No, <laughs> see, that's like LA the changed you, bro? That's the thing I don't want to get mixed up right okay. now. It's like, I don't think LA itself changed me. I think I just did like a lot of like growing and maturing in the past like two years, especially. Like, as soon as we moved out of the first trap house into the apartments for like a year, like I had a year where I like really learned a lot about myself and like learned how to love myself and become like who I wanted to be. Plus, like with appearance, I think I just like looked different than I did in high school. Yeah. Yeah, Which definitely. you do too, I'm not saying you don't, but like at the same time, if we're comparing you and I, like, like half your body me. is tatted type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So LA changed Colt the Brock. That's the takeaway. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had a big fight? And if so, what was it about? We fight every other day. We fight all the time. There's like two or three times where he punched me in the uppercut of a jaw and I fell off a balcony. <laughs> yeah. Like honestly guys, we don't ever fight. I don't think I've ever been like, <laughs> Yeah, we, yeah. We've never, we don't yell at each other. We're, we've never ever been like, F you, like I hate you. Everything's always been passive aggressive. I'm gonna take a shot because I don't think we've ever had a big fight. Something's wrong, again, we argue about it or we like be passive aggressive under our breath, but we've never been like, ah, I hate you. True. Yep. <sighs> We're going dark. <sighs> <laughs> no face it, the last one. If we get the no face, you have to like the video. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next week. See you then. Thanks for watching, guys. Merch link in bio, first link in the description. Peace. <laughs>